approximately uh, 12.30 this morning, uh, a gunman appeared at the front of one of the theaters in the Century 16 Theater behind me here. Uh, uh, witnesses tell us that he released some sort of canister. Uh, they heard a hissing sound and that gas emerged. And then we know that the gunman opened fire. Now, I'm saying the gunman because as of right now, we only know of one gunman, okay? And we have no evidence of any additional shooters. Uh, police officers responded uh, uh, and found the gunman in the back of the theater, outside in the parking lot near a car, in possession of a gas mask and at least a rifle and a handgun. Uh, there are additional, there's at least one additional weapon was found inside. Uh, the shooting apparently went on for some time. As of right now, we have approximately 50 who were hit and we have 14 dead. 10 in the theater and two, four died uh, at area hospitals. Uh, the police response uh, uh, consisted of rushing anyone who was hit immediately into police cars uh, and to hospitals. Uh, there's six area hospitals we know of, I'll tell you what they are, that have handled and triaged victims. Um, Children's Hospital, Aurora South, University Hospital, Parker Adventist, Denver General, and Swedish. Um, I'm saying approximately 50 were injured. We're, we can't get a firm count right now, and there may be a, some double counts if a victim was taken to one hospital and then transported to another. Um, the suspect, who is in custody, made statements about possible explosives uh, in possession in his residence. At this time, there is a residence in North Aurora, it's an apartment building that we have evacuated and we are dealing with the potential that there are explosives inside there. Um, we're also concerned about explosives in the parking lot, hence the parking lot is completely sealed off. We have all the area bomb squad teams. We've had wonderful support from our law enforcement friends, uh, and we're just as a precaution checking all the cars in the parking lot for explosives. That will go on for quite some time. Um, the theater is secured, and I imagine the forensic work uh, and the handling of the deceased inside the theater will go on for some time. Uh, on behalf of all of Aurora, and this is a horrific event. Our hearts go out to the families. Um, we have mobilized the witnesses that we could get our hands on uh, to an area high school where debriefings are underway. Witness information coming into us. Obviously, anyone who's seen anything, we really want their assistance to notify us. All right, I will take a handful of questions. In terms of a more thorough brief, we're shooting for 11 a.m. this morning. I don't know where we'll do that, probably in, 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 in an Aurora facility. Uh, uh, so we'll, we'll give a more thorough update around 11 a.m. this morning. We will not do anything between now and then. Chief, okay? you said you talked to the, the suspect. Did he give any idea of what a motive might be? I, wait, the, the only thing I will tell you is he made a statement to us about explosives in his residence, and we are dealing with that potential threat right now. Beyond that, I have nothing more to say about what he said to us. Chief, can you say anything about a search for a second person? There were a lot of reports there was someone else involved. We have not been able to confirm that. We have no evidence to support that right now, but we are obviously very concerned about that, even the possibility of that, and we are working that angle right now. But as of right now, we have no evidence of a second gun. Chief, witnesses were saying that the bomb seemed like a smoke bomb that wasn't necessarily an explosive. Do you know what that was? As I said, what we know is that there was a hissing sound and there was a release of some sort of smoke. Okay, and that's that's all we know right now. The neighborhood where you're searching his home, have you had to evacuate neighbors? We evacuated the apartment building. Can you explain where that is? It's in North Aurora. He's, He's in custody. Yeah. We have a suspect in custody, yes. Do you believe there's other people that you need to find? Uh, I just like? answered that question. As of right now, we do not have any evidence of a second gunman, but obviously we're concerned about that, and we are doing everything we can to find out if there is a effect that might possibly be true. But as of right now, we have no evidence. His home Sorry, is in Aurora. Yes, any more questions? Yes, the Chief, victims, how are you, you talk talking about, about the, how the victims' families will be notified? We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, we've mobilized our entire uh, victim services unit 
and all the detectives we can. We have wonderful support from some of our other agencies and their investigators. And as we sort through this this evening, one of our highest priorities will be dealing with the families of the victims. Chief, can you talk about the ages and sexes of the victims, please? Uh, no, I can't. Uh, Chief, witnesses were saying that there seemed to be a police presence immediately as soon as they heard gunfire. Was there anything that they could have known of beforehand to show up sooner? I, I, police presence immediately as soon as they heard gunfire. Was there anything that they could have known of beforehand to show up sooner? I, I, I can't answer that question. I know that we were here immediately, and thankfully, thankfully we apprehended a suspect. And so. Is there any place where victims' families can go or call the, tonight? Is we, it waiting for people to come home from the mall? Uh, the, 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 the witnesses who were not injured that we know of are at Gateway High School. Uh, and as I said, there are approximately 50 who were injured, and uh, they were at the area hospitals that I've named, and I'm sure those hospitals are dealing with family response right now. Well, most of us have never experienced anything like this, and uh, they're performing extraordinarily well, and I'm very, very proud of them.